High school senior has now been arrested for allegedly attacking the school therapist in the hallway. This one happened at Cross Creek High School. That's in Pompano Beach. And we're now learning more about what led up to that violent confrontation. Local Tens Leanne Morty Hong is live with details on what we can expect with this story in the end. Yeah, according to what this therapist told police, the student overheard something or rather misheard something that this therapist was saying, and that is what caused allegedly this act of aggression. And new within the last few minutes, we've just received a statement from the Broward County School District. 19 year old Cornelius Sampson is charged with battery on a public or private education employee. The alleged incident happened January 24th at Cross Creek School in Pompano Beach, a school which serves students with emotional and behavioral disabilities. Samson, who police documents show is an adult student with autism, is accused of attacking a school therapist at Cross Creek. According to Samson's arrest form, quote, the victim stated she was having a conversation about one of her previous students who was involved in a crime. She stated she believes Mr. Samson thought she was talking about him, and that's when he turned around and aggressively walked toward the victim. She states she tried to avoid his path, but Mr. Samson used both hands and shoved her into the fence. The documents go on to identify the victim as school therapist Bridget Cormier. She told police that her head hurt and that she cut her elbow. Samson was taken into custody at the school. We were unable to reach anyone today at Samson's home and the alleged victim was also unavailable. All right, so that statement from a Broward County Public Schools spokesperson says in part that they take all these matters of safety very seriously, that there are protocols at this school uh, to help students cope with their frustrations and learn the consequences of their behaviors. They also say that the school's administration took quick action with this student and is in ongoing communication with that student's family. They are also taking steps to ensure that that staff member does not have any further contact with Samson. For now, reporting live in Pompano Beach, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News. All right, Leanne, thank you for that.